afternoon class. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about nomenclature. This is the most important part of chemistry. There are three types of bonds. The most basic one is the covalent bond, where valence electrons are shared. This is between two nonmetals, so you have to use Greek prefixes. The second type of bonding is ionic bonds. This is between a metal and a nonmetal, so it's a little bit more complicated. Every row in the periodic table has a certain charge. When you put two elements together, if the charges don't cancel out, they cross as shown below. The third type of bonding is metallic bonding, aka between a transition metal and a post-transition metal. Transition metals don't have a set charge, so they're always positive. This type of bonding uses Roman numerals. The transition metal will have a Roman numeral next to it, and this is its charge. Then you cross the charges as usual. The Roman numeral system can also be called the stock system. If the element ends in something other than IDE, then it is a polyatomic ion. Vitally important to nomenclature is, of course, the polyatomic ions, and here's all the ones you need to know. Yo, my name is Phil Sus, I'ma show you how it be Cause I like naming compounds while I do my chemistry Some people say I'm too good when it comes to nomenclature Punk, I'm like the president while you're still in legislature Something to remember is what ends with IDE Everything but polyatomic ions, so many possibilities First I'll teach about covalent bonds so no one better chuckle If you do I might just have to set you straight with my brass knuckles These are between non-metals, so get it straight It takes a long time to write a rap, so y'all better appreciate When you write covalent bonds, you use prefixes that are Greek If you don't know this, well then your stuff is weak when there's one, you say mono, when there's two, you say die. Then write this down fast, before you get punched and cry. When there's three, you say try, when there's four, you say tetra. No beats if you mix it up, so don't let me catch ya. When there's five, six, seven, it goes penta, hexa, hepta. If chemistry was a country, I'd be its king with a scepter. When there's eight, nine, ten, you say octanon at deca. Now bow down to my skills, like the Muslims do in Mecca. Bonds between metals and non-metals are called ionic. This rapping is getting me hungry, I might have to stop by Sonic. When group one and group two are involved, there are more rules. Now listen up closely, all you sixth period tools. Each row has a certain charge, don't act like it's not true. You look a little lost, but I'll tell you what to do. If the charges don't cancel out, well then they'll just cross over. Just pretend like you're playing the elements in a game of Red Rover. The last type of bond is none other than metallic. It is my least favorite, and might just make you all sick. Transition metals don't have a set charge but they are always positive which in theory makes them large but don't worry cause this shouldn't be a problem yo dogs i got your bag and i'll teach you how to solve them just use the stock system the one with roman numerals remember what i tell you or plan on early funerals Well that brings an end to my lesson today, I hope my nomenclature knowledge just blew you away.